Now back to our top story, Tina. Authorities say the 17-year-old Utagat Burden Ground is now being transported to juvenile detention right here in Billings. It was a joint effort today between the Bighorn County Sheriff's Office, the FBI, and the BIA that got Burden Ground to turn himself into authorities late this afternoon. Now, a warrant for Burden Ground issued earlier this week after he allegedly brought a gun to Hardin High School last Friday, then used it to threaten another student for his lunch money. Authorities say Burden Ground stashed the gun in an art classroom before authorities did a search. Court documents state art teacher Nora Block then hid the gun in her desk overnight before reporting it to school officials on Saturday. Now this incident has rattled students, staff and parents in the Hardin area. Q2 Samantha Harrison got to travel to Hardin today to bring us reaction to the story. Sammy. This is my 34th year in education. Um, all but three have been here in Montana. I'm a native Montanan, <clears throat> and in 34 years, I've never dealt with, a, with an incident involving a weapon at this level. You know, when it actually happened on Friday, we had some kids that were really scared. Um, I think we had some concerned teachers, and we really had a lot of calls from parents, concerned parents. Do we send our kids to school? Do we not send them to school? Superintendent Dennis Gerke says despite the worries from students and parents, the week at school went smoothly with a law enforcement presence every day. That is, until a threat was posted on social media Thursday night, and after hours of discussion with law enforcement, the decision was made to cancel school today. Really what our ultimate goal is, is we want families, parents, the community, and we want the students and the staff, we want them to come to school feeling safe. That's the atmosphere we really want to establish and have established here at Hardin High School. He says that while the incident has been hard on him and all of those within Hardin High School, he's thankful it did not turn out worse. You know, one of our mottos here at Hardin High School is we do what is best for kids. And we really try to get all of our staff and our classified staff and our community to keep that in mind. What is best for kids? And situations like this is never what's best for kids. So we want to get back to that uh, great attitude. We have a great student body. Um, we have a great activity program. We have great teachers. And we really want to get, just get back to normal and educate kids. Samantha Harrelson, MTN News, Hardin. Thanks, Sammy. Gerke tells us the uh, Hardin School Board will vote on whether to suspend Burden Ground at their next meeting. Both Burden Ground and the teacher, Nora Block, are expected to make court appearances later this month.